bulking up our leftovers and using our scraps to make another meal that's fresh and delicious and different can be challenging, but it can also be a lot of fun and it can save us a lot of money. In this video, I'm going to share with you ways that I saved money this week on food by doing just that. So it's been a couple of weeks since I've been to the flea market. I still have some leftover tomatoes. I have two avocados that are very, very ripe. They were ripe when I bought them. That's why I got them so cheap at the farmer's market. I also have like a half a tub of sour cream. I have a little bit of split pea soup. I have restaurant leftovers from going out with my in-laws the other night to a Mexican restaurant. I have multiple bits and bobs in my fridge. So I decided this week I've got to get some of this used up. I don't want it to go bad. I also have one carrot left over from the farmer's market and I've challenged myself to use the stuff up before I buy more. Now tomorrow is farmer's market day again. It comes twice a week and I only go about once every couple of weeks if I need anything. I don't go if I don't need anything because I really don't have room to store the extra and there's only me eating it and I'm trying to lose weight. So the more I bring in, the more I'm going to be trying to eat or figure out a way to eat. So I'm being very careful with my purchases for those reasons. But as I shared with you, I ended up with COVID and I was pretty darn sick for about a week. Now I had some leftovers in my fridge and I had some simple meals that I could make that didn't take a lot of effort. But my mother-in-law was coming over here from her trailer with her cane, checking on me several times a day. And she brought me over some homemade vegetable soup one day. Well, another day she brought me another decent sized portion and I was still feeling pretty rough, but I thought, you know, I can make this soup she gave me last longer than the serving that she brought. And it was a decent serving. It probably was two servings and it was pretty liquidy. I had extra broth and that's what gave me the idea. So I threw it in my two and a half quart crock pot and I had brought with me a bunch of dried lima beans. Now my husband doesn't like lima beans. He doesn't like peas. I love both of those things. And so I had some frozen peas in the freezer that I brought with me. I had these dried lima beans that I brought with me thinking I would have a chance to use them when he's not around so I could enjoy them. And I decided to just put that soup she brought me in the crock pot add some dried lima beans, add some of the frozen peas, and I was able to make this stretch into like two more meals in addition to what she brought me. Those are little tricks you can do to stretch your food. Another thing that I did is I made split pea soup again. We had another couple of days that turned cold and I thought, you know, I still have split peas in there that I bought for this trip. I've made it once. My husband doesn't like peas, so I'm going to make another pot of that. And I was really thankful that I did because then I got sick and I really needed something easy like that. But I threw it in the crock pot and I thought I'm going to put a little different spin on it this time since I'm the only one eating it and I've already had one crock pot full since I've been here. I'm going to add some of those dried lima beans again, and I'm going to bulk it up a little bit. It put such a great spin on that pot of split pea soup by adding those lima beans. Now, not everybody's a lima bean lover, and I know that, but if you like dried beans, you could interchange the lima bean 
with anything. But what gave me the idea is I needed like a cup and a half or a cup and a quarter of split peas. And I only had one cup left, but I had those dried lima beans. So I just substituted what I would have used in split peas with the lima beans. And it made it so delicious that if I make it again, you can bet I'm going to put those lima beans in there. And then we went out to a Mexican restaurant this weekend. My in-laws are getting ready to leave with a lot of the other March people that leave. And I'm staying through the end of April. So I went out to eat with them because they're getting ready to leave and I wanted to spend more time with them. We had the choice of stuff there at the Mexican restaurant. I'm not a huge meat eater. So I chose the three cheese enchilada meal with the rice and the beans. They also had homemade tortillas that were fabulous. So I had about three fourths of a homemade tortilla to bring home one and a half of my cheese enchiladas and some rice and maybe two bites of beans. So I brought that home and I thought, how can I make this stretch? And I still had a can of refried black beans up in my cabinet. And I thought, well, I'm just going to open that and add some of that with the meal. And I can put some of that in that tortilla that's left over. I can have some with the rice and I can make a full meal. So that's what I did. And then I made this with the three fourths of a can of refried beans that was left. So I took that three fourths of a can of refried beans that I had open in my fridge. I put it on the bottom. I took a half, about four ounces of sour cream that I had left over, about four ounces of mayonnaise, mixed that together, added a little homemade taco seasoning. Then I had two avocados that needed used up. I had bought a bag of them that were ripe at the farmer's market for a dollar. I used those up. And I added a little garlic salt to that layer. And then I added some green onions from my garden, a Roma tomato from my purchases at the farmer's market, a little cheese on top. And I used up a lot of things that needed used up in my fridge and made this great taco dip for dinner. Now, this will cost you at Walmart about $7. And I just used stuff that needed used up from my fridge. I also have used up almost all of my oatmeal. I don't think I have enough for another serving. And I shared on a short here the other day how I had used up my leftover coffee in my oatmeal and how I made it kind of like a tiramisu oatmeal. Oh my gosh, it was so good. And I was able to use up my coffee and basically use up my oatmeal. So I'm not sure if I'm going to buy more of that before I go home. I know I have a bigger stash at home, so I may just try to substitute with other things and then refill my canister for the camper when I get back home. I also bought bananas for snacks. I have fresh oranges for snacks. And I went to the Dollar Tree and bought some Act 2 Extreme Butter Popcorn that they had for $1.25. I have a microwave here in the camper. It's not super easy, you know, to be making a lot of things and washing a lot of sticky, oily dishes like that in the sink because my sinks are small. So I did opt to go the microwave popcorn route while I'm in the camper. And it's not the best popcorn, but I added some salt to the bag and it came out perfect. So I was able to enjoy that, even though it is not my favorite type of popcorn, popping it on the stove is my favorite type. So those are some of the things that I've been eating for low cost snacks. I also used a coupon to get some of those little five can biscuits and I cooked that yesterday, used two of the biscuits to eat with jelly for one of my breakfast meals and then I also used the other three small ones to mix up a little pan of gravy and have that for the other three biscuits. So I made that small little can of biscuits that ended up costing me 98 cents with the coupon last two meals. I have four hard boiled eggs left right now. I'm going to boil those up 
and I'm going to have egg salad sandwiches with those. That is another thing that I absolutely love. My husband prefers tuna salad or chicken salad or something like that, but I love just plain egg salad. And sometimes when I make it at home, I will take the egg salad and make me a sandwich and then add tuna to the mixture so that he can have the tuna salad. And that's one way that I make it stretch. And so I'm looking forward to using up those last four eggs for that. I bought a little package of pasta noodles for pasta salad. I still have tomatoes left from the farmer's market. I have that one carrot that I'm going to chop up and put in there. And then I also bought a little head of broccoli for $1.78 that I'm going to put in there with some Italian dressing. And I'll be having pasta salad over the next few days. I even opted to cut off the stems of the broccoli plant because these are delicious raw. Have you ever dipped them in ranch dressing or just plain? They're absolutely delicious and don't need to be thrown in the trash can. So those are some of the things I'm doing to use up little bits and pieces of things to make sure that nothing goes bad, to make sure that I have a variety of food from the things that I have in my fridge, even though it's just me, I like to change that stuff up so that I'm not eating the same thing for meal after meal after meal. My husband is super great with eating leftovers. I eat leftovers too, but I like to mix it up with different things in between. I think he could eat the same meal until it ran out, but I like to have something different thrown in the middle and then maybe go back to those leftovers later. I have one serving of soup left in the fridge. I have my bean dip that I just made. I'm going to be doing the egg salad. I'm going to be doing the pasta salad this week. So those are the meals I'm going to have that are cost effective, delicious, and easy for me to make here in the camper and enjoy and still get a variety out of using some really cheap food and some leftover food that needed used up. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please give me a thumbs up and I hope to see you in the next video.